Enraged goblins on a town hall? That's never gonna work. What's going on, you guys? It's your host, Galadon, checking out Saucy Goblins. He is a Town Hall 11, and check his profile out, you guys. That's right, he's never even released the beasts. He has got level 7 goblins and not a whole lot else. Now, he does have some pretty high-level heroes, but there it is. Advertising it in his base, he only has level 4 barracks, and he really is only using goblins in these raids. And he's gotten, yes, that's right, you guys, all the way to Legend League. Over 5,000 trophies. We're going to check out Saucy Goblin's strategy right here. We're going to see a couple of different attacks. Now, this is a 9.5, so no Infernos, Town Hall 10. But we can see the basic strategy right here with these awesomely fast and surprisingly powerful maxed out goblins going after the resources. And the key, the key to Saucy Goblin's success well, one of the keys anyway, is the fact that goblins now target town halls as a resource. So they're going to go after that town hall and saucy goblins throwing down the earthquake spells, working his way in. And sure enough, that's exactly what his plan is here to go right after that town hall. Now you notice he's got a ton of goblins. He's used a bunch of them to get rid of other resources in the area and then the rest on their way beeline for the town hall and while well, the town hall in this case was really gone even before the rage spell got dropped and it's a quick raid in out you're on your way obviously moving on and it doesn't take long now in this case saucy was able to stick around a little bit longer and grab a few of those outside buildings he's got some pretty beefy heroes there 20 25 30 and they're going to help him grab the second star and six more trophies from uh, this Town Hall 9.5. Now we'll take a look at a Town Hall 10, and it's going to be pretty much the same strategy. The Earthquake spells, the single jump spell, and the single rage spell. Starting out one more time, clearing out those outer structures. This is for percentage, and it's also for goblin funneling. That's right, once again, funneling those goblins in after the Town Hall that is now a resource. He's got giants in his clan castle, donated obviously from other players. And again, the goblins moving in. The hero's going to help out as well. And there's the CC grabbing poison. In goes the jump spell. In goes a ton of goblins. But you'll notice he holds a few back, waiting for those other structures. Got to get that gold storage out of the way. The elixir storage off to the right. Once he's sure that he's got a clear funnel and a direct path to the town hall, in go the remaining goblins and down goes that one and only rage spell. So here come the last 33 or so. The Warden's ability also going to help them stay up a little bit longer. And despite all of the Teslas, the Town Hall just gets vaporized, you guys. Teslas, look, all four Teslas are still there. They're like, huh? Wait, what? What just happened? We're protecting the Town Hall. Okay, Teslas don't talk. But if they could, they would tell a story of despair. Saucy Goblins, two-starring another base and picking up 15 trophies in this raid now of course saucy is facing a lot of big town hall 11s and obviously not going to be as easy to get to that town hall or wait is it think about this base this big gap ring base all he really needs to do is again create the funneling resource funneling getting those storages pumps collectors and in this case the cc out of the way and the goblins are going straight for the town hall. So you would think back in the day when we had lower level players pushing for high trophies, they would do it by going for percentage, by picking off outer buildings and just grabbing 50% and never touching the town hall. But no, it's the opposite for saucy goblins. Once that CC goes down, it's going to be again, a direct path to the town hall, a well-timed rage spell and bye-bye town hall. So fast, you guys, let's look at that one more time. In super slow motion, the rage spell drops the goblins. Lots more moving in. Not even all of the goblins on that town hall. Maybe 20 or 30 or so. Just completely destroying that town hall in a split second. Moving on, and that's the end of the raid, you guys. Saucy Goblin picking up another win. Not a lot of trophies, but an interesting approach 
to trophy hunting. And that's what happens when you're waiting for a big Clash of Clans update like I know you guys are. I know I am as well and I promise you I will let you know as soon as I possibly can. So hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get the notifications. You don't want to miss out on the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. Thank you guys again for watching. You are the true hashtag Galafam. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.